probably believe that it's impossible for a fire to occur in an operating room, but that's not the case, and here's what happened. My client had a mole above her eyebrow that her doctor didn't like the looks of, so he said, I'm gonna send you to a general surgeon, I'm gonna have you get that mold removed so that we can test it. So she went in for surgery, the surgeon told her it's gonna be a very easy procedure, it's gonna take 40 minutes, she'll be home the same day. The surgeon and the anesthesiologist, unfortunately, did not communicate with each other during the surgery. And my client was being given oxygen through a mask. And at the same time, after the surgeon did his cutting to remove the mole, he decided to use a cautery device that uh, makes an electrical spark. So what ended up happening was, because they didn't communicate and turn off the oxygen when the cautery device was being used, the oxygen leaked out of the mask, went up to where the spark was, ignited, and literally lit my client's face on fire. We made legal claims against both of those doctors for medical malpractice, and those claims uh, were basically due to the fact that they didn't communicate with each other, and because they didn't do that, they created a dangerous situation and seriously injured my client. Ultimately, that case was able to be settled, but it was only shortly before trial we had to go through extensive litigation before the doctors finally accepted responsibility. But in the end, my client did get fair compensation to make up for her injuries.